Hello there guys, I'm Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 5 of Civilization 6 as Gandhi. We're about to settle our third city. Technically it's our second because our second city we stole from uh, Russia. And I'd like to try and get another city at some point. Maybe, I don't know, over here if there's a source of fresh water could be quite nice. We could get the wine, maybe reach some of the salt. There is iron here as well, but fresh water is going to be the problem. Um, maybe there's some room down here. There is a city-state there. You can just see the border, but maybe there's some room here. Uh, and there's a little bit more room over here to the uh, west as well. Maybe we have five cities. I don't really intend to go to war much now. We've done quite a few games in the past that have been quite um, uh, sort of domination focused. It would be nice to have one that's relatively peaceful. I'm still going to build up an army because we need to defend ourselves against barbarians. And there's still a chance that we could be attacked by the AI. There's a few sources of iron up here. Remember though, we don't need to go and try and grab every iron on the map. We only really need two sources max. One if we've got an encampment. And um, it's just fi trying to find one or two that's close. I mean, there is one there. A city here could be useful on the river, but again, it's mostly tundra and snow, which is pretty terrible. So that's not all that great. I've also noticed that Gilgamesh now doesn't like me for some reason. I don't know why. He's actually unfriendly. Uh, sent them a delegation. Um, different governments. And they dislike civilizations with low faith. Well, that should change soon anyway. Uh, does it say what sort of government they are? They are an oligarchy. Well, there's not an awful lot that we can uh, we can do about that right now. But let's go on to the next turn, see what happens. We do still have some barbarians around. Tread on dangerous waters in the face of England and her loyal colonies. Okay, so Victoria's getting a bit fresh now. Not too sure what her problem is. Have been mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. So there's drama and poetry done, but we're going straight into theology because we want to get those temples as quickly as we can. I still think this is probably the best place for that settler. It's not where I'm being recommended to settle by the AI. The reason I thought this would be a good spot is because we do have the fresh water. It's also in between our two existing cities. It gives us room to get the copper. I mean, I still think we should have another city over in this direction. But I think for the time being, getting one here is not a bad idea. So let's go and found a city here. Now, do we still have that policy that gives us the production towards settlers? We do. So I think what we might do is get a couple more settlers. And we're going to get one over here somewhere. And in fact, I'm going to actually send my uh, archer just to uncover this area. So we'll see if there's a spot down here we can uh, put a city. And then we'll try and decide where we, we need to put the third one. We'll build it in Delhi as soon as the ancient walls are done. Uh, we're going to start over here. The ancient walls would probably make a lot of sense. But I'm going to go for the monument to try and get the borders growing as quickly as we can. So we are doing a bit of exploration over here with our scout. This is Rick. He's going to keep going around and we'll uncover whatever we can. Now, we were originally trying to clear out a barbarian camp that was here, but I think that may well have been cleared out by a um, an AI. Uh, we've also got uh, a city-state over here as well. Now, I remember seeing this city-state getting attacked, but maybe that was in the last game. There's a quest here to send it a trade route. We could probably do that one if we get a trade route moved to St. Petersburg. So we'll try and remember that one. Uh, what's the bonus for these guys? I don't think I've seen these guys before. Your cities all have full housing from water as if they were all next to a river. I mean, that'd be ideal if we wanted to then go and stick a, uh, a city up here on the coast to get that iron. Or even here next to the lake. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll give it some thought. It's going to take a few turns before we get our settlers out. Now, I was sending that builder up here for something. I can't remember now. Probably the wine, actually. And we'll have even more ivory that we don't really need. We probably need to get another builder out, to be honest. So, yeah, you were actually going up there to the wine. I'm fairly certain that's what I'd asked you to do. Can't remember now. So, France is at war with somebody. There we go. We've got our walls at Delhi, which is very good. Can't even afford the mosque yet. We might as well get the library. We want to try and get science going as quick as we can. But the hanging gardens would be good. Let's give it a go. Let's just try it. See if we can get the hanging gardens. There's a few 
few turns left, so we might be able to pull something out of the bag. There is a Sumerian Scout. So this might, I'm not sure whether this is a lake or not. Um, but I just want to uncover that little bit of the map, and then we'll bring that guy back. Uh, we definitely want to try and kill off this scout. Any opportunity we get to kill a barbarian, we should take. But I just want to have a little quick look down here and see what is there. And then we need to go up and clear this camp to the north. So let's go on to the next turn. Hopefully everybody's going to get home safely. We could probably do with another archer, to be honest. And that's the reason why. At least we do have city walls here in St. Petersburg, so they're going to help out. Hopefully we can do this before everything gets pillaged. So we'll get the city to fire at that slinger. Didn't quite kill it off, but the archer inside can. And I might actually just start to bring one of you guys back. You've got a promotion. Oh, well, not one of you had a promotion. Well, I just want to have a quick look and see if that barbarian camp's gone. We'll use the other archer there to sort of try and keep the place safe. So let's have a look what we've got over here. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to uncover the rest of those tiles. That wouldn't be a bad spot for a city. Uh, one, two, three. So we'd have a couple of mountains. We'd have some cattle. Ivory again, which we've got too much of. One, two, three. We'd have two sources of horses. Sources of horses. What's wrong with my voice this morning? It's not happy at all. Um, we'd have some bananas. It's not a great city, but it'd certainly do. Um, not many hills. There's a few, like, sort of wood, so there would be some production. I think it's one to, definitely one to consider. And, um, there we've got a French heavy chariot, which is taking some damage. There's, a uh, borders over there as well. Who's that? Is that Egypt? It is. Yeah, certainly love. So, let's go and, well, we know where you are. I wonder if that's the only city she's got. It's Congo's music playing now. Uh, okay, let's go on to the next turn. Like I said, I don't really want to have to go to war, but maybe if it gets to a point where one AI is getting a bit out of hand, maybe then at that point we have to. Uh, Petra, that's not such a big problem. All of a sudden, you will notice that that is a lot of barbarians. So again, let's start taking out whatever units we can. We still haven't repaired the, the holy site yet. We'll move up with you. You're not in range of anything on this turn, but you can finish that guy off. And the warriors will probably start moving in next, but we should then have two archers and the city bombard. Will probably be enough to clear them out. There's some iron down here as well, but settling here, there's no source of fresh water. And it's a little bit too close to the city-state. So I'm going to bring that archer back. We definitely need to get rid of this camp that's up here because that's causing us some major issues now. We start bringing this guy back. And uh, yeah, let's go up here and um, have a look. I doubt we're going to find much in, in the way of goody huts now. To be fair, my chances of getting a missionary all the way over to you are very, very slim. I mean, you're a long way away. I mean, I could create a missionary, but that would take some time. So there's theology done. So the first thing we need to do is we really want to take out this one that's got the catapult with it. Because catapults are dangerous. Not catapult, battering ram. Battering rams are dangerous. So we can go ahead and finish that one off. Now, he'll probably just move up with another unit, but that's fine. If he moves his warrior onto the battering ram, then he'll um, lose all of his movement zone of control from the city. But that's another one finished off. We've got a horseman over here. I think that's the one we were shooting at earlier, so we'll gladly uh, take the shot and finish you off. There might still be a camp over here. I really shouldn't be using a warrior to ex uh, uh, an archer to explore, but I think we might have to have a quick look. Let's have a quick look at this civics tree and see if there's anything specifically we want to go in. I'd like to get alliances. Let's head towards civil service. If we can get an alliance with Gilgamesh, that'd be great. Let's send uh, one to Yerevan. Just so we get the extra plus two faith in the capital. And yeah, I guess we just sort of keep going north. See, at the start of this game, I was thinking that it was basically like uh, an island. And that we were on it on our own. But apparently, no, it looks like it's one big landmass again. 
It's the second fractal map in a row that's been like uh, Pangea, really. Yeah, he's actually backed off with the catapults. That's fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus Russia, who we've wiped out eight. So we've already met everybody by turn 104, which is relatively good. Um, I want to have the city selected if I can. Right, so let's uh, let's try and get rid of this guy first. He's nearly down. That's another dead barbarian. But yeah, we definitely we've got a couple of promotions now. But we need to go and clear that camp because this is getting ridiculous. I think I will just have a little look around with this guy. It was probably Gilgamesh then that cleared that. Uh, camp that was there because his city's right there and he's got a pikeman nearby that makes a lot of sense let's remember to get you home then we don't need you down there you're going to go back up towards delhi because we are going to get ourselves another worker assuming uh, not a worker a settler um you're heading on to the wine and we've met valetta and we've met kabul oh we're doing well now on finding city states i never even usually keep my eye on city states quests i just end up you know, sort of randomly doing the quests as I go through. I don't necessarily prioritize them because it's not really that kind of game. Okay, so we sh oh, we've got a catapult coming in now. That's interesting. Well, we should be able to finish this unit off. It's not showing me that you have a promotion. I was sure at least one of you did have. Apparently you do not. Yeah, there we go. Got promotion available just appeared. So again, you're supposed to be moving back here. We still need to repair this holy site. It's not doing much for us in the condition it's in. Uh, you're going to get the wine. Was that your last? No, you still got two uses left or three uses left even. So what do I want to do with you? We probably want to get this uh, wheat next, to be honest. That'll help this out. What tile are you working, actually? Um, actually, there's it's only one food, but it's two production. You're growing eight turns. Eight turns for the monument. If we move you here, 16 turns for the monument, but you're growing four turns. I think we just carry on working that one for now, just until we've got the um, builder on that. I think it'll be fine. So let's keep going north and see what we can find. I, I still live in hope of finding the occasional goody hut, but it's not likely. Might as well just put you in the city until we get that next settler. So we definitely want to settle her over here somewhere. I mean, there aren't many, really many resources to grab. There's a boost to construction. You're moving in once again with units. Again, we prioritize the unit that can attack. The battering ram can't do anything on its own. It's a support unit. Um, so we do everything directly. And do you have a promotion available? See, there's no promotion. There. I keep seeing promotion available. Why do I keep seeing promotion available? Nobody's at max XP. Again, there it is. Look, plus one XP, one promotion available. What? What is that all about? Something a bit glitchy going on there. Um, the granary would give us some more housing. We're not at the housing cap. We're growing quite quickly. We don't necessarily need the food. So let's go and start repairing the uh, the holy site. And uh, got a barbarian quadrarium up there. So you're just going to wait around. It looks like we might get the hanging gardens if we're very lucky here. And we're being, being attacked by the Quadrarims, which is unfortunate. Probably both of them. Hopefully Rick will survive. Just. Need to... The there we go. The stories by stairs. And at their side are water engines. By means of which persons, appointed expressly for the purpose, are continually employed in raising water from the Euphrates into the garden. So there's the Hanging Gardens. That'll give us an extra 15% growth in all cities. Very nice, very nice. 
So what do we want over here now? I think we might want to go straight into a temple. I know I said I do want a settler, and I do. But I also want to improve my religion. I'm trying to go for a religious win here. Right, let's get you moved far, far away from the barbarians. Probably shouldn't have put you on that coast either, but I think you might be safe there. So we'll try and heal you up. So we have been left alone a little bit now by the uh, by the barbarians, but we need to go and clear that camp. So that's what we're going to be working on next. I think you can just stay in the city. We need to have at least one unit down here guarding. But yeah, I do want to have a little look up here just to see if there's any fresh water. Getting some iron would be nice. Okay, free battering ramp. Let's sort that out. So support unit. All you, all you need to do is move on to it and it instantly uh, gets destroyed. So yeah, you're going to go ahead and get the farm there. That gives us a boost towards feudalism. So you're going to grow now in four turns still. But is it worth now? I do love the look of these cities. Are they absolutely gorgeous? Um, so four turns for growth, five turns for the monument. Versus two turns for growth and ten turns for the monument. Let's grow the city first, and then we'll put the other guy, um, the other population on the ivory. I think we will improve the ivory. I mean, if we're going to be working that tile anyway, it makes sense to actually have it improved, just for the extra yields. We've got a scout. Um, we can actually reach that scout if we move over there. It's not going to be enough to kill it, but certainly enough to uh, make it think twice. What we can do, of course... Um, is we can move out with the guy that's in the city and actually put this guy in the city in his place. They've both got the same promotion, so it doesn't really make a lot of difference. Now, we can get a step well here. Um, I don't think that would be a great place for the step well, because I think the bonus is from River and Holy Sites. It doesn't tell me that. I've got to go into the Civilopedia, have I? just want to try and remember um, what the bonus is. So it's plus one food and plus one housing. And it's plus one faith if it's adjacent to a holy site district. Uh, and plus one food if adjacent to a farm. So as long as it's next to a farm or a holy site, we're getting the, the most from it. So yeah, I guess we could put one there. Wouldn't give us any faith because we don't have a holy site. Now, where, if anywhere, would we be likely to put a holy site? Because we do have mountains. We could have a holy site here. We'd pretty much... If we wanted to have one on this city, have to have it next to a mountain. If we could put it on the cattle, we'd, it'd get a lot of bonuses. We'd be giving up the cattle, which is unfortunate. But do you know what? I think we can do that. We could go ahead and get a holy site here. Build a step well next to it. I think we move over here and clear the cattle. We just get rid of them. Because we've got wheat here. It's not going to be terrible for food. Um, we clear the cattle out. And then that's where we put our holy site. And that'll give us a quick boost to growth as well. That's that's what I'm going to attempt. We'll see if it works. Ah, so, just got a trade route pillage there by a barbarian. They might not capture workers, but they definitely pillage your trade routes. So, you're going to move over there. You can't do anything. Oh, you can do something on this turn. Why can't you? You just can't clear that, can you? So, we'll just have to build directly on top of it then. Okay, so we'll go down and, and get the uh, the ivory. So, we have ourselves here a Spearman. And uh, we can actually get you if we move into this tile. Because then we've got a line of sight on you. And uh, this... Again, look, 1, X, one XP promotion available. And it's probably going to do the same here, yep. But that says 1 XP and it says 1 XP up there. This is something weird, I think, that's going on. Something to do with Gilgamesh. Uh, it's something to do with Gilgamesh's ability that when he's allied with somebody, um, anyone that they attack or any combat that goes on in a war that they're allied, someone they're allied with, they share in the XP, any unit in five tiles radius. But whenever Gilgamesh is in a game, barbarians seem to be getting XP gain randomly for weird reasons, and I do not know why. But there's definitely something hinky going on. So, okay, uh, the population here has grown, and we've gone back to work in that tile, which is fine. So we want to go ahead and improve that. And we have lost a trade route again, which is unfortunate, so we're going to have to spend time building another trade route. 
And there we go. We've got ourselves some more uh, units. Uh, you can move over here. Then you'll have a line of sight to attack that warrior. Warrior is nice and dead. And we're still gaining XP, so... You know, everything's fine there. Now, do we want more culture or more science? Sierra Van and Jerusalem, what do you offer? You're influenced by two civilizations. Thran France has three with you. Um, so, Yerevan. Um, no, it's not what I'm looking for. Yerevan. Your apostle units can choose from any possible promotion instead of re receiving a random promotion. That'd be nice. Um, Jerusalem automatically converts to the religion you founded and exerts holy pressure from that religion as if it were a holy city. Both of these are really nice. So I think we want to concentrate on these cities where we can. We definitely need to try and get some more uh, more influence. Um, what is our government type at the moment? We are autocracy, which is giving us bonus bonuses towards um, wonder production. Maybe I do want to go into um, oligarchy. We'd lose a military policy. Is Gilgamesh still... He is still oligarchic. I think what we might do is wait till we've cleared this barbarian camp because I'm still using the what the um, policy that gives me bonuses uh, when fighting barbarians. And uh, we'll, we'll change everything around at that point. I think that's what we'll do. Uh, but that's all I've got time for on this turn, so I'm going to end the video there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Civilization VI. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.